Aloha, and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther, and this is Unmetal. Inside that hangar, I found what I was looking for. As I checked the Zodiac, I found... I didn't want the... Its gas tank was empty. I didn't want the Zodiac. Alright, whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Okay. Let's try the Zodiac again. Defeated. Okay, the Zodiac turned out to be the better choice. Mm. The two guards at the... Whatever. The confrontation with that chopper exhausted every drop of gas I had left. With no gas, the engine stopped shortly thereafter. Despite the dangers, I used my own arms to paddle forward. Piranhas and crocodiles constantly tried to eat my hands. But I was lucky enough to make it to a small dock. You're certainly a lucky man, Mr. Fox. Don't care about that. Ooh, that's what I want. I need those. Hi. Please, oh, please, don't kill me. Why would I want to kill you? Hold on. You're not one of those bastards. Of course not. I'm a very nice guy. By the way, what are you doing? Those bastards won't stop building fences everywhere. They think the jungle is theirs. So I cut them to fuck with them. <laughs> Do you have, by any chance, a van to get out of here? I had one, but they took it away. The old man told me a few stories about that place. It was isolated, with no roads or towns nearby. And most importantly, he told me about what I might encounter up ahead. I would, I would like those cutters. There, hidden in the middle of the jungle, stood a compound riddled with cameras. The level of security was sky high, like the mansion of a cartel boss, and I could see why. Because the center of this fortress was the Omega Building, the heart of Operation Jericho. The old man told me that he saw some helicopters landing on top of the building, 
If I stole one of them, that would be my ticket out of there. One thing was for sure. If I was detected by a camera and the alarm triggered, they would put the Omega building in lockdown and I could kiss those helicopters goodbye. But none of that matters because, even though I was already showing signs of exhaustion, I slid in like a shadow and managed to go undetected. The door was locked and chained. There was nobody outside, so finding the key for the lock wasn't an option. I could cut the chain with a bolt cutter, but where would I find one? Hello, friend. Give me that bolt cutter. But it's it's mine. Jesus. Now it's mine. Are we not going to address that? Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that you stole from some defenseless old man? Thank you. Or a special sort of monster. What? Me? No, 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 no. I paid him. When I said it was practically highway robbery, I meant... Hello, friend. Hello, Gramps. I want to buy that bolt cutter. But it's mine. How much are you willing to pay? Here are some coins. It's little money, pal. Oh, look. I also have $10 million. Okay. Thank you, Gramps. You're welcome, kid. <laughs> okay. Though that was poorly acted, that that's better. Ugh. I can't cut down fences with this? Shit. Oh, well. Oh, at least they kept a tree in there. Cameras, achievement, cameras. On the east side, the cameras were accompanied by cards. I needed to pass without being spotted by Mike or the camera. So, I had to get rid of Mike and leave no witnesses, but it was more complicated than that. If the camera saw Mike knocked out, lying on the ground, the alarm would be triggered. Seems you just had to move him away from the view of the camera. Exactly, but if Mike wasn't there as the camera viewed his post, the alarm would still be triggered. Whatever I did, the camera had to see Mike standing at his post. Hmm, quite the scenario. Unless it's an episode of MacGyver, it would be impossible to proceed. Hold on, if you're telling me this, that means you made it through, correct? Well, yes, I managed to fool the camera eventually. How did you manage that? If the camera needed to see Mike, I could just make a copy of him. A clone? Yes, the copy was so perfect. Mike's mother wouldn't know the difference. What? I made the swap when the camera wasn't looking. Uh, with... With what? Are you kidding? Um...
Come on. Use it. Use the fucking. All right. What else am I missing for this? I'm glad I played Ghost before I played this. There we go.
Now that I know how they actually fucking work. I moved too soon. Oh, I didn't need to do that. There it was, the entrance to the Omega building. That would be the last place I'd visit on my tour de escape. Okay, cool. I carefully studied that pizza box, examining every detail, every clue, every molecule. I deduced that it was used by someone else to smuggle something into the Omega building. A pizza? Exactly. A pepperoni pizza, to be precise. I carefully studied that pizza... I have a pizza here for... Mike? That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Here it is. Yeah, I see it. What kind of pizza is it? It's a pepperoni pizza. Great. The kind I like. Are you sure it's fresh? I don't see any steam coming out of the box. Uh, that's because they covered the box holes. So the pizza doesn't cool along the way. 
Do you take me for an idiot? That pizza is cold, asshole. Who are you calling asshole, asshole? Come out here and say that to my face. Fuck, you're not the pizza guy. You're Fox. Shit. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. So close. It's sort of like a point-click adventure if you think about it. I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order. Ah, shit, I didn't look at the box, so. I carefully studied that. There. I know it's a pepperoni. Pizza here for it's a pepperoni pizza. There. As I crossed the door, I entered into the Omega building. 
the heart of Operation Jericho. It was a cold, dark, industrial place with containers and barrels everywhere. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course. Here you are, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the fuck? It doesn't weigh shit. Son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? <laughs> I was inside the Omega building. I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. It was a thick cable and a sign that said ground floor alarm cable, do not cut. Done. With the cable cut, the alarm wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. Ah, uh, random destruction for the wind. For the wind. They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... Uh... Scandinavian guards. Not only were they tougher than normal guards, they were light sleepers, too. Oops, I fell asleep. That's fine. Cool. I don't have any reason to tie them up. Yet. Oh, all my coins are gone. But it looks like it can go up and around. You, I'm gonna need to...
in that pokey little room, I found a few crates. They contained... Whoa. Uh, uh, rocket. What the hell's a normal guard doing here? One more. Um, I'm going to need to come at him from this angle. Too hazardous to have this guy out here.
Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops. Okay. Because I didn't have any fucking coins. Alright. Hello, old Welcome man. To the basement. Ah, uh, thanks. Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. If I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I'm Fox, son of Zox. I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison, which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I was curious about what was inside the Labyrinth, but I had no business in these catacombs. I was focused on my escape, so I didn't think about those ridiculous stories. Although later, I'd be back. Do you wish to enter the Labyrinth? No, thank you. Alright, I will catch you all in the next episode. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha!